Well, hello, YouTube land and all the other internet folks out there. This is a challenge, and I know I am about to kill the sacred cow of atheism. But I want to challenge you to show me irrefutable proof of evolution. Not variation in species. Variation in species is a proven fact of variation in genetic information that's already present, such as some people have blonde hair, black hair, varying sizes in noses, different types of mouths, ears, different level of heights. And the same thing goes for any other type of creature on this planet. It's just as variations in different types of dogs, but in the end, the dogs, the genetic information was already there. And in most cases, perfect example, a poodle or one of those little chihuahua dogs where genetic information has been lost. And those dogs would not normally survive in the wild if we keep them alive. I'm talking about Darwinian evolution, which requires new genetic information to become present that wasn't already there in the first place which also requires a means to read that genetic information to make it meaningful we would not be alive if there wasn't all not just the genetic information in our dna but a mechanism to read that genetic information to make it meaningful just like you have a book, it has a whole bunch of things written, but that book is meaningless unless there's someone there that knows how to read what's in that book. What I'm talking about is irrefutable proof of what is known as Darwinian evolution, when new genetic information has to appear out of thin air to evolve from one creature to the next, such as from a monkey to a human, or from a fish to a bird. You get the drift. I'm, I'm, at least I hope you do. So, show me real proof of Darwinian evolution. I think some call it macroevolution or something like that. Because after several college classes, after exhaustively looking at debates and information on both sides of the issue, creationists and atheistic evolutionists, frankly, I find that the creationists' arguments are more convincing than what these atheists put across. And any so-called evidence that I've come across after a closer examination has turned out to be not entirely accurate or true, and in some cases, outright scientific fraud. So I challenge you. I'm not looking to no no kitty stuff, no saying, "Oh, you're stupid because you don't buy into evolution." None of that bullshit. That's childish. Real, irrefutable proof of evolution. 